Okay, I'm Amanda Gross, and I am uh, sharing a video game that I am trying to create here for uh, GO GPE 104. Um, this is the uh, a player platform game. I really only have one big bug, and uh, <laughs> that is that is my kitty cat here that uh, fell out of trees. Um, this is the uh, screen if you lose. However, my cat seems to be invincible and I cannot seem to fix that bug. But this is one of the scenes. Um, so this would be a fail screen or a lose screen. And when you hit play again on this screen, it did loop it back to the very beginning of the game. Okay, so I'm going to go through the rest of the needed materials and everything. Um, oh, I'm going to go over my animation state first. I'm going to bit out of order here. That's okay though. Uh, we're supposed to have an anim animation blend of idle walk and jump. And here in a minute I will show you inside the game of idle walk and jump. This is the character's uh, state machine uh, for the idle. Uh, I know it said run but I, or walk but I kind of made it run and, and then the player jump. So uh, if we take a look at that um, like run to player jump. I have set up no exit time. Conditions is running equals true. Uh, from the player to the idle. Because um, you're trying to go from the jump, rather, to idle. Is jumping is false because you're trying to return from jumping to an idle state. If I'm going from idle to player jump, um, is jumping is true. And then over here uh, on my uh, finite state machine for the player, uh, run to idle is running is false. I'm going from idle to run is running is true because you're trying to run. And then in this way, it's it's going to have to be the conditions is running has got to be false because you're going from running to back to idle. Okay, so that's kind of my animation. So I have it set up here too uh, and with the player. Okay, let's go into the actual game and I'll show you my animations inside the game before I take a look at any of my code. But that should take care of, well, first of all, the fail screen. And we'll take a look at the start screen and the victory screen. Okay, let me see. First, we need to get to the scenes. And let's go ahead into a start scene. Okay, so this is the initial start for my setup. Come on and play. There we go. Okay, so Cat Up in Trees is my game. And I, Cat's just gonna jump around the trees. I, I don't know. <laughs> um, but this is my starting scene for multiple scenes. And this one is hooked up to the main game. So when I press the start button, it will head straight into the main game and I'll also I, I like I said I'm invisible I cannot die my kitty cat cannot die therefore <laughs> you're gonna see the victory screen but I won't go immediately into the victory screen I'll show you some of the things and the actual animations with inside okay so here it is again this is my idle state and you can see that the cat is kind of like bouncing there up and down um, so successful animation state for that um, walk he goes back and forth. He does kind of have like a thing where he gets big when he walks. Um, <laughs> my animation state with, or sorry, my, yeah, my animation state with walking for some reason it, it popped up and made it bigger. Um, my jump, there he goes, and then he can jump really far. So, so just one click, one space bar jump. That one's one. He's also supposed to have a double jump. So there you go. Now he's like goes up really far and then comes down. And um, I'm trying to see if I can get him. See, when his legs go out, uh, that's that's him jumping. So that's the um, uh, an animation state for jump. And that would be um, also a double jump. He is grounded. See, he can... Um, gravity does affect... Well, it doesn't affect him right there, does it? <laughs> but um, hold on. If gravity... Poop. There we go. See, so he is going down. And if he goes down that way... He kind of just goes down forever and ever and ever. Like I said, I have an invincible cat that cannot die. But gravity is affecting him and he does drop down um, to the ground. So, um, detect ground pit player, yes. Affected by gravity, yes. 
and he can double jump. So we'll take a look at the code here in a minute. Oh, music is playing in the background, so because that was one of the requirements as well. Let me head back to my start screen, um, and we'll take a look at some of the other things because it messes up once you fall off the edge of the earth. Okay, so now that we're back, um, unfortunately, my hedgehog is extremely fast, even though I gave that hedgehog a lot of health. But um, you should hear, because it requires uh, player sounds, so you should hear meows in a minute. And I tried to use different meows for uh, player deaf also, but since my kitty cat can't seem to die, you're only going to hear the one meow. <laughs> and then it'll head to the victory screen as soon as I hit the hedgehog more than once. Now the hedgehog has like a, a mouse squeak and then a different type of mouse squeak is the, see, there we go. You heard the, both a mouse squeak. So that's the hedgehog when every time the hedgehog gets hit and you heard the meow every time the cat gets hit it meows. So my colliders are working and it is having sound and you definitely hear the sound in the background. So, cause I successfully added music. Um, now the a hedgehog, uh, I'm gonna kill him here in a minute because, like I said, I have an invincible kitty cat. So um, when uh, the hedgehog dies, you're gonna hear more squeaks, and they're supposed to be different. I did use different squeaks according to the the sounds, but uh, for me, it's kind of hard to tell that it's a different sound upon a uh, hedgehog enemy death. Okay, so now when I kill him too, oh man, here, see, I wait too long and the sound cuts off entirely. Uh, let me head back in. <laughs> and this time I will go ahead and kill my um, hedgehog. So that you can see the, uh, the victory screen, because that one successfully lives. Okay, there we go. There we go. No, now he's not going to die, is he? Really? Oh, there it goes. Per, you won. Okay, and hey, I knocked that hedgehog over him even. <laughs> okay. So when you get to this one, this is the victory screen because I did win. And then if you press play again, I loop it back to the beginning of the game so that you can um, indeed play again. Now, um, and it's going to do that again and again. <laughs> I do have a checkpoint that's um, registered uh, near the top of the, of the screen. Okay, waypoints. Nope, nope, come on. All right, I uh, put waypoints in uh, around the hedgehog himself, and I made a kill box, I guess unsuccessfully, because he doesn't seem to <laughs> die. Um, and I know originally I did have uh, um, a uh, checkpoint in here. It was a mushroom. I'm just not sure where on earth my mushroom ran off to to give my Kai a checkpoint. I know I put one in originally. And my checkpoint seems to have disappeared. Okay, well, I'll, I'll try to figure out where on earth my head, you know what, if I can get up there, it'd probably work. Um, my hedgehogs, or my check, hedgehog, my checkpoint's supposed to be up there. So I'm gonna try to make it up there. <sighs> Darn it. And I'm gonna kill him again, and I'm not even wanting to. Ha! Ah. <laughs> I'm about ready to um, turn him off, and then um, maybe if I like rats. <laughs> Sorry. I'm telling you, there's checkpoints right up here. <laughs> At least it was originally. Ah! Uh, okay, come on. Nope. Really? All right, I'm gonna go ahead and change his health. And then maybe, um, maybe if I give him a lot of health, I can make it to that thing. <laughs> or, you know what? Here, let's just stop for a second. And we'll, we'll, um, play with the tile map. Foreground. And, oh, I don't know, drag the whole thing lower. We'll see, but then you can't quite get to the thing. You know what? I'll drag this one lower. That's what I'll do. Okay, so, um, mm hmm Let's go ahead and drag this lower. All right, can my, my cat surely can, you know, like jump there, can she? Sure, yeah, yeah, definitely. <laughs> All right, 
Okay. And then I'm, I'm just trying to make this as easy as possible to see if I can show you a checkpoint for this assignment. So was there originally, like I said. Okay. Oh, goody. Now I'm going to have another effect and that I can't um, <laughs> seem to <laughs> make it to the other one. Oh, really? Okay, hold on. Okay, there. I made it to that. Oh, yeah. Okay, now. But see, if I don't die, <laughs> this is originally where the checkpoint was with the mushroom. The only problem is I, I can't die you the checkpoint because you know I'm just falling into outer space so actually now think about it won't work because but there um, there was a checkpoint up here anyway if I can just figure out how to make my cat die <laughs> uh, then the checkpoint would probably work again okay uh, I'm gonna go ahead on into my code though to show some of the code that I have done here uh, Okay, um, mm -hmm. checkpoint. See, right here is the script for the checkpoint. <laughs> um, and it's a 2D collider. Originally was anyway, it was working. Uh, check to see if that has entered the trigger field. Um, and then uh, it's supposed to checkpoint, it's supposed to just transform. And I had it as a mushroom. So I don't know where it went, but um, it was originally there. <laughs> So I, I don't know. Okay. But I do have the code written for it. And if my uh, didn't have an invincible cat, I would probably be able to do the uh, checkpoint. Okay. Um, let me see what else. Uh, in the checkpoint, I do have a trigger a 2D collider, or it did, uh, so that as soon as the player enters the area, um, the checkpoint is registered and that if the cat dies, which it can't seem to currently, um, it will uh, register and head back to the last checkpoint, which is kind of above the hedgehog. Okay, uh, game manager. Um, I have a, a game manager instance up here, and uh, it's supposed to destroy this object, which it's working for the hedgehog, it's just not working for <laughs> the other. Um, uh, game object player. Um, right here, player get component pawn last checkpoint player transform. This is uh, the um, function that is supposed to take the player back to the mushroom checkpoint. Um, this is the check win. Okay, but it it is working because you do let seem victory. This is the one that it's built like almost the same way and should go to the fail screen. So if I can figure out a way to kill my kitty cat, you should see the fail screen. So it is, I mean, it's there, and you can go from the fail screen to the start of the game. I just can't seem to um, load it correctly onto the other one. Okay, um, this is uh, just to change the scenes. So I made, uh, for the scene manager, a change scene, scene manager, loading scene and it, ha it always heads back to sample scene in this game because only the only the one with the cat and the trees is currently the only main scene of the whole game okay this is my uh enemy controller this is my hedgehog um so he has a, a 2d collision on him uh he has two waypoints uh so i'll go back to my game here in just a second and show you his waypoints so that he only goes back and forth and he doesn't fall off the edge of the world and die. Um, <laughs> and uh, this is where if if the player comes into position, then my hedgehog starts to lose health right here. Um, so here, I'll go ahead and show you the waypoints for uh, my hedgehog though. All right, and then I'll head back into the health. Uh, let me see, just go back to scenes. Uh, let's just go in here because um, we, we kind of get how the other ones are, so. Or, well, here. Yeah, I'm already there. What am I thinking? I'm not. Okay. Um, oh, wait. Actually, we don't need that. See, but he does go back and forth. And this way, he does not fall off of the world. Um, so his waypoints are, if I scroll out, it, it shows one right there. There it is. Okay, so there is one of his waypoints right there uh, with the box around it. 
It's just, there it goes, okay. And then the waypoint here with the box and circle around it. So there is his waypoints to keep him in this general area during gameplay. Okay, and then he, uh, this allows the hedgehog, the enemy, to take damage. This is my health script. They both have a health script, um, and this is how I'm getting the sound. So, um, uh, pawn deaf SFX um, allows the music to play uh, for the for the script for the deaf script. Um, this is for enemies and scene. The win condition is um, trying to. Well, okay. Oh, <laughs> the enemies. This tells how many enemies are in the scene. I only have one enemy. But uh, win condition is destroy that enemy, which is pretty easy since I have an invincible kitty cat still. Back to the checkpoint. <laughs> so, I, yeah, I did have a checkpoint, but I, I don't know where it went to. Or Well, it's there. I think the problem is my kitty cat can't die. Okay, um, and then I have a uh, pawn parent class for uh, some of the rest of my scripts. Uh, so I had a, an animator is running um, means that uh, it's part of the animation that the player will run and part of the finite state machine for the player. Um, I used a vector three down here uh, to get uh, the uh, where the player is on the screen. Um, is running is false. Uh, my player is going to stop running. Uh, so here is a, a, the jump, public void jump. Um, my player does have a rigid 2D. We'll go up and look at that here in a minute. Um, oh, and double jump. And I showed you on the screen earlier. Uh, my cat can double jump. My player can double jump. So this allows, this vector 2 allows for the double jump to be used. Uh, first the one jump, then the double jump. So all this together. Um, helps it to be, uh, oh, and then uh, public pool is grounded. Um, that's part of it, uh, grounded player. So this is the part where it grounds the player. Okay, and then if we take a look at my player itself, um, script, player scripts itself, uh, rid your body 2D right here, uh, horizontal float. Um, I used to get access to find the horizontal uh, to get the player to move left. I'm pressing left arrow to get the player to move left. I'm pressing right arrow to get the player to move right in each direction. If player isn't pressing left or right, um, I, I this was how I was checking uh, earlier, so I've, I've crossed it out for right now um, for P. And so it's checking for each of them. Uh, is grounded. <laughs> so I'm grounding the player again. Um, and then if you uh, hit the space bar, this get down kick code and kick key code dot space um, allows the player to jump. So when I hit the space bar, my player is going to jump into the air. And if a uh, pawn is not grounded, the um, can double jump. So if I hit the space bar twice in a row, I should double jump. jump. Okay, so that is my script itself. Let's take a look at some of the other things. I, I showed my uh, my uh, state machine in here. And, oh, um, within the, uh, let's see. Within the um, player, because like this part, uh, a lot of state machine kind of goes together because like, like this part of the state allows the jump to take place. Okay, I had that. Um, towel map. Actually, you even saw me play around with the towel map because I was trying to make it there to show you waypoints. So, there we go. Uh, background music. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, the music. Um, let me see. The background music plays all the time anyway. Oh, probably should have held into the inspector. So, I'm using this new toy in town, this audio clip that I found um, for the actual hedgehog. Come on, hedgehog. There we go. Okay, so my hedgehog, my enemy hedgehog. He has two different sounds that he is playing. Um, pawn script, audio, there we go. Okay, so for his audio. Um, <laughs> should have two different, there it is, okay. And I, I'm using a mouse squeak and hit a SF. So he should have two uh, moils, 
I don't know why they named it that and they didn't just say a mouse squeal, but <laughs> I didn't write the I did not write the um, sound effects for this. So the hit SFX squeal, squeal one and the deaf SFX is squeal four. So they are different, even though I can't really hear the difference. <laughs> They're there though, and I did try to do two different ones for both when the hedgehog gets hit and when the hedgehog dies. Maybe I'm just not very good with um, mouse squeaks though. And then if you go head into my player and in the inspector, um, here is where I use the two different types of uh, a cat meow one and a cat meow four. Uh, and you can't really hear the death of Cat Meow 4, but it was, uh, to me, more like a cat in pain. Um, just my kitty cat can't tie. But you can definitely hear the Cat Meow 1 every single time the cat gets hit, the cat meows. Okay, so I think that's, I think that's it. Uh, I even brought my health of my uh, player down to 50, trying to figure out the bug. And the hedgehog, woo, hedgehog, hedgehog, hedgehog. I made his uh, health 200, so now it's like a hedgehog boxy, boss even, but <laughs> he still <laughs> doesn't have enough <laughs> to actually take out my uh, my little kitty cat. Okay, so um, player moves right and left. Oh, did I, did I actually talk about that? I don't even know if I did. Um, but I could go the other direction too. I'm gonna play it real quick to go the other direction also. See, and he has a flip so that he will turn around the other way. So he flips this way and he can go back and forth this way too. So player left, move left, move right. Affected by gravity, we saw that he can fall off the face of the earth, planet earth, even though my kill box when he falls off the edge of the planet earth is not quite working correctly. Um, he, uh, we said player is grounded. Uh, we can jump once, we can double jump. If you double jump, you actually see a better thing of the jump. And actually when you're going like this, you can see it better too. So if, when you when you go back and forth, you can really see it. Okay, um, so jump and double jump. He has that. Uh, uh, blend, animation, and idle walk, jump. That's taken care of. Uh, we talked about player's death sound, player hit sounds and the meowing. Enemy dies, uh, my enemy is, sounds like a mouse squeaking. Um, music is playing right now even, and multiple scenes. So I have a start scene that's connected to my main game screen. And I do have a victory screen every time you hit the hedgehog. Victory screen plays, and I do have a fail screen. Although, unless my cat dies, you can't see the fail screen, but if the fail screen is working, it'll loop back to the game screen as well. Um, and then the only thing is the checkpoint, and I do have the checkpoint pawn, but <laughs> again, unless my cat seems, my invincible cat that cannot die, <laughs> unless he dies, the checkpoint isn't going to be reached, even though I do have the, the um, thing in there too for the checkpoint as well. Okay, so I'm going to uh, stop the recording here, and I think that's it for now, because um, it might be a while before I figure out why my... Um, Cat is invincible and cannot die, but thank you. Uh, hopefully this will work for a platformer game.